Okay, so now we can move on to, um, I'll just move into that directory actually. We can actually get on with getting the packages um, and this will be quite a little bit of fun, unfortunately. But again, I, th I think it's mostly these problems we're going to have now is mostly to do with the fact that the project seems to have stalled and it's quite out of date now. So what we're doing now is, um, let's go into, sorry, let me go into the sources directory. I'll put all these files into the sources directory, keep them all in one place. So what we're going to do is get this download list. So that's just a file with a list of all the um, locations for the packages we're going to install. And this little line here is going to fetch all those files. Sorry, what have I done there? Right. Okay, so we'll just wait for that to download. Um, and what you might notice as these download is that some won't be there. We're going to have to fetch them manually. Um, we've got another unusual problem. The checksum we've got for the MD5 and the SHA um, they take into account other optional packages and optional uh, patches. Um, so it's a bit of a pain that when we run this to check to do a check on the checksums um, we'll get a lot of missing files because those missing files are the optional um, patches and packages. So what I'm going to do is try and go through the um, checksum file and remove those packages because I'm not going to install any of the optional ones. I'm just going to go through the book as it is um, just so it it's a bit easy to see what is missing. Um, when we run that. So I'll just wait for these packages to download now. Okay, so those I've downloaded. I'm going to get both these checksums now. Fetch them. Don't need to do both, but I'll just do it for the heck of it. Uh, so you can see um, these are the checksum signatures for. Um, each of the files. So if I run this, you'll see we're going to get quite a few errors where some files haven't been found. So um, it says that 27 files could not be read and two computer checksums did not match. So what I should do first of all is I'm going to go through the checksum file and just delete the ones that I recognise that we don't need. 
Um, in fact, we've got to, if I read them out in case you want to do the same. So it's the Yarboot ones and Colo. So this one's Yarboot and Colo. So there's another Yarboot one there. Uh, this PowerPC Utils one, don't need that. Uh, Arc Load, take that one out. Another Yard Boot, another Colo, HFS Utils. Um, I can't remember if that Elf 2, yeah, I think this Elf 2. A out DVH tool. Silo. Colo again. Power PC utils again. Silo again. Yard boot. Elf two A out. DVH tool. And that's it. So let's save that, run this check again. So we've got 10 listed files could not be read and two computer checksums did not match. So let's take a look through this now. Right, can't find the beginning. Let's run it again. Let's put some space in between this just so I can see the beginning of the listing a bit easier. Right, there it is. So. Oh yeah, these pure 64 ones we've got to get rid of. And parted. That was an HFS utils I missed there. Okay, so um, HFS part head. and pure sixty four. I think there's a couple of them. Yep. Okay. So let's run that again, let's do a clear. Uh, right, so now six files could not be read and two checksums did not match. Right, let's group this through failed, it might make it easier to read. Oh. Okay, so it looks like these two have failed to check some and these one, two, three, four, five, yeah, these six are the ones that haven't downloaded for some reason. So if we go um, back to the actual track.clfs.org website, um, click on this download button. Current development sysv init. If we go to the patches directory, these are all the patches that are available. So let's see why. So that one is the first one that's failed. Um, sysv init. So it's 2.6k. Right, 
right, so let's remove that and get this one here. Okay, so that's fixed that one, it's not coming up failed anymore. So the next one we need to get hold of is man pages 4.09. Now somewhere we can get the packages. Is it this one here? This one in it. Yeah, packages. So we want another copy of man pages. Let's remove that one there. RM. All oh, right, it's not actually there. Oh, sorry, no, the patch is still failing. Patch saved. Sorry, misreading this. Right, we'll come back to that one then. We'll need to get another patch file. Oh, and we need the pearl patch file. Let's go back to that patch. Uh, pearl, that one there. No, it's not that one there. Oh, right, sorry, we don't need this pearl one because we're not building multi lib, so that one needs to be removed. See, this is why this is so messy. It's just. Um, quite confusing. I don't know why they put the optional in there. They should have made maybe created a separate checksum file for the optional um, packages. So let's get rid of that one. Right, so we've got one, two, three, four, five. Missing and So the checksum for bzip2 is failing. That's that patch file we need to do again. Oh yeah, so and this so let's remove basic two and try and fetch it again from the packages bzip two. Okay, that seems to have downloaded successfully now. So whether it was obtained from, probably from the uh, website, the BZIP2 website, it's not the uh, correct. It may have been re-zipped, for example, recompressed. Um, so although the version number is correct, or it may have been um, recompiled, it's still at 106, but there might, might have been a small adjustment made not to warrant a version bump. Um, but obviously that would have changed the signature. So, these other ones, yeah, it looks like we need to fetch these, so we need to get, just check man pages, was, wasn't there, was it, last man, no, lib, yeah, lib EE is not there, so these are all missing. So let's get man pages. Four to oh nine Tarek said, yep. And lib EE. Less four nine one. MPC one oh three. Uh, 
then patch 4.9.21 Now I have to make a comment here, you'll notice there's two patches here, there's patch 275 and patch 4921. This patch 275 is the actual patch program, this patch 4921 is the patch set to upgrade the Linux kernel from 4.9 to 4.921. So I have to bear that in mind when, when we extract patch that we do the 275 when we're building that one and not the 4921 they share the same file, base file name um, it's just the version numbers that are different so it's a little bit a little bit confusing that is so let's get those five packages and if we run this now yep the only one we've got now is this patch which we've already downloaded Funnily enough, from the website, from the CLFS website, but it's wrong, it's coming up wrong. So what we need to do, I'll do it just one more time, just to be sure. So if we now run the check it's still failing so what we need to do is search for this and we'll probably come up with this Oregon University that seems to have a mirror for all the different all oh right okay thinks it's a website I'm looking for for all the different um, Linux from scratch versions um, is it this one here I think yeah Oregon State University so you can see this has got all the packages as well as the patches so we'll remove that again and let's download this version see it's slightly smaller it's 2.3 I think the other one was 2.6 so whether the current one on the website is a newer one and a better one to have I don't know but um, as it's not passing the checksum, I'm not going to use it. Okay, so now we've got success, we've got no errors. Let's just run that without the, yeah, there's nothing come out the bottom there. And of course, we did the um, SHA1 sum. That will obviously fail in the same way, but you can see there's 22, could not be read. It hasn't mentioned the ones that have read incorrectly actually. Uh, oh, because they're correct now, we've downloaded them, we're of course. But there's 22 that could not be read. That ties up with the ones on the MD5 sum. We, we got rid of 22 files, so that's okay. So we can go back to the book now. So that's all passed. There's a list of all the packages. As I say, some of these, if you click on these links, some of them are out of date, they don't go anywhere. Um, so it's just as well that we've got the um, packages from other locations. Additional package, um, I will be building this but I won't be installing it because the machine that I'll be copying the result of this compilation to um, is already bootable. Um, I don't want to be changing that so I won't be anything doing anything about making the system bootable. I'll, I'll just be copying the files across and booting into it just a, a demonstration of what we've built has actually worked. So then we've got all the patches and you can see it mentions about some optional patch, pack, patches which we've already seen at this link. Um, the specs patch, I'm pretty sure we've got that. It's um, the way that they do the adjustments for the tool chain at the various stages. 